In this video, we're going to look at skinning a form in Pure Vision. That's a little different than simply colorizing a form or adding a background to it, but we'll look at that as well. So we'll start with a form. We'll go to Form Properties, and for background color, we're just going to choose the color picker, and we're going to pick a color, press OK. Now the form has become the color that we've chosen, and we can get rid of that by just highlighting the background color, pressing the minus key on the uh, number pad, or you can just type in the number zero, hit enter, and it'll return to the default Windows color. We can also do something a little fancier. Instead of having a solid background color, we can add an image to the background. So we'll start with our form. In our form properties, we'll select background image, and then we'll just pick a picture. I know this picture is 640 by 480, so I'm going to change the form to that size. And there we have an image in the background. Now I can add gadgets to this form. And the gadgets will just appear over top of the background image. To remove the image, I'll just go to our form properties again and delete the image, hit enter. And now our form is back to the default Windows color. By using this method, you could create a complex interface and simply add it as a background image. I know this image that I have is 503 by 505, so I'll change our form to that. And I'll select the background image. And now it looks like we have a complex interface on our form. Now I can also add gadgets to this form, or when I'm writing my application, I can have it so as I hover over various parts of this image, it can interact with my software. Now in this particular image, I have an exit program button built right into the image, so I don't want the title bar. So I can simply remove that by going to my form properties and selecting borderless. Now it shows just the image without the title bar. And in my software I can design it so that when I hover over this close window, it will close my program. Now to truly skin a form, we want this image to become the entire form. We don't want a background color, we don't want a title bar or edges on our form. We want this entire image to be the interface. Now what I've done is in a paint program, I've loaded this image and I've removed the background color and I've changed it a solid color that I know is not in this image. So I'll load it up here and show you. So this is, this is the image now with a solid background. I know this bright pink color is not anywhere in this image that I'm going to be using. So this is the color that we're going to remove in our pure skinner. So to do that, I'm going to start a new form. I'm going to go to Tools and Pure Skin Maker. And then I'm going to select that image with the bright pink. And now I press the Convert button and it loads the image. We can see it here. We see the bright pink. And as I scroll over it at the very top, you can see that the pink is 255, 0, 255. And that color doesn't exist anywhere else in this image. So I'm going to select it. And the Pure Skin Maker removes that pink completely. So if I move this image around, we can see that all the rest of the form has become transparent and we only see the interface. So this is what I want, so I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit Save Pure Skin and it's now saved on our hard drive. So I can close our Pure Skin Maker and now what I want to do is I want to add our Pure Skin Gadget. So I'm going to press that. Now when I add a Pure Skin Gadget to a form, it will automatically remove the title bar, the borders, and we have just a blank form. No, nothing special about it. Now the only option for our pure skin gadget is to add a background image. So I'm going to select the background. 
and I'll find the pure skin that we just converted. I'm going to add it. And there we have it. Our form is now skinned. And I just have to write software now to interact with it.